Hello, my name is Tracy Allen and I want to welcome you to Cooking with Some Friends. Hello and welcome to Cooking with Some Friends. Tonight I'm making meatloaf and it's a little different than um, the normal meatloaf that I make or my standby meatloaf recipe, but sometimes you just wanna change it up. So tonight I'm making barbecue meatloaf and it's got some ingredients in it that we just love. So combined, that makes it even better. Um, I am doubling the original recipe that I use because we like leftover meatloaf as well as right when I make it. Um, so um, I've got about two pounds of hamburger that I've broken up, um, that I thawed out. And to that, I'm going to add some chili sauce. And I'm doing chili sauce instead of ketchup. And I want about six ounces, so that's about half of this container. And I'm also going to put in this some bacon that I fried up and crumbled up. And I have about six slices that I did that to. And I have, I'm going to add some cheese. And so I have in my bowl, I have about a cup and a half of cheese. Get all that out of there. And uh, oatmeal, I have in my ramekin, I have about a half a cup of oatmeal and oatmeal will act as my filler. And I'm going to put in two eggs. And that's my binder. And I have some Worcestershire sauce. I have two tablespoons. And a little bit of mustard, about half a teaspoon. And then I have some spices. And in my ramekin, I have onion powder, garlic powder, seasoning salt, all of those mixed in. You could also add um, black pepper if you want to. And that was a teaspoon of each one of those. Okay. Now I have some milk on standby just in case this isn't moist enough for me. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and mix these things together And then I have my pan sprayed, my oven preheating, um, and you need a fairly hot oven. I've got it preheating to 425. Um, and when these bake, they take about 20 minutes. So, and you know what? I like using my hands on this better than um, using a spoon. And if I were working in the food industry and not just for my family, I would use gloves, but that's not the case. Okay. Make sure it's all mixed well. And I can form this into loaves. And since I doubled, it would make two loaves. Um, or I could make it into balls and I'm going to use just a little bit of that milk. I have about a third of a cup here, but I'm not going to use all of that. I'm going to use half of that. And you want to mix this well, but you don't want to over mix because it'll make um, the proteins in the meat um, a little tougher if you overwork it. Maybe just a little. So I guess I used about half of that. Okay, that feels much better. Okay, so I'm going to form this into balls and each one of these would be about a serving. And place them in my greased cake pan. 
And you don't want to do this on a baking sheet because when the, the fats render out, they would make a real mess in your oven. So I'm going to continue to do this. The only other thing I need to do to these um, before I put them in the oven, I am going to take, um, I'm going to go wash my hands first. I have um, barbecue sauce that we like, and this is Casey Masterpiece. Um, and we put a toothpick in our bottle because we don't have a lid for it to keep the moisture in, but I'm just gonna put barbecue sauce on top of each one of these before I bake them. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to fill my pan and then I will put these in the oven. Hello, welcome to Cooking with Some Friends. Uh, I am making some chili today and uh, I have a couple of reasons. One, the weather is chili weather, and, but the most important one is our local um, care center decided to have a cook-off um, challenge and I was challenged by somebody um, here in town to do my version of chili and so that's what I'm doing and by the time this video post the cook-off will be over um, but anyway I want to share the recipe with you so in my pan I have browned uh, about two pounds of hamburger and a pound of Italian sausage and you can use mild Italian sausage you can use spicy it just depends on the heat that you want in your chili um, we like it spicy um, so we use spicy Italian sausage um, so I browned that and drained most of the fat off it. I also put in um, probably about a quarter cup of chopped onion, just because it's hard to imagine uh, chili without those um, vegetables that give it uh, kind of that homey flavor. So anyway, so that's in my pan. To that, I'm going to add all my other ingredients, and it doesn't have to be in any specific order. You just want to get them in there, and then you want this to simmer for a couple of hours to get those flavors to blend and so um, I'm going to cook it in my pot and then transfer it to a crock pot just because it's easier to take it to the chili cook-off um, but you could just finish it in your pot and then serve it after the two hours um, so anyway in my chili besides the hamburger Italian sausage and onions I'm going to add chili beans um, and I have three cans of chili beans that I have drained most of the liquid off from. Put the top of under this. Um, and I'm gonna put those in. And you don't wanna rinse them because they usually come in a sauce and it's okay to get that sauce in there. Um, it says to drain all of your, uh, in the recipe, to drain all of your chili beans, but I like to leave one um, in the spicy sauce that it comes in. I'm also going to put into my chili um, some diced tomatoes. Let's do the diced tomatoes next. Um, I have petite diced tomatoes, and I have 56 ounces of those. And I don't want to drain them because I want the liquid. And you can buy larger cans if you want to, so you don't need so many, but it's just what I like to keep on hand for that size of can. Okay, then I want to add my tomato paste, and I have a six ounce container of tomato paste. And I'm going to put in um, some peppers that I've chopped up. And I have one green bell pepper, one red bell pepper, and a couple of jalapenos. And if you uh, want more heat, you could add 
a spicier even than a jalapeno, a spicier pepper. Um, but jalapenos seem to give it the heat that we like. I'm also going to put in um, some bacon bits, about a tablespoon of them, and four bouillon cubes, beef bouillon cubes. I should have opened these ahead of time. Okay. Really should have opened them ahead of time. Trying to be stubborn with me. Um, I told a friend of ours we would also sh share at some point our chicken chili recipe, which is really good too. But um, and I debated on whether to make chicken chili for the cook off, and then I thought, no, I'm just going to do beef chili. Okay, and I'm going to put in a half a cup of beer. And there have been times that I've omitted this ingredient, but for the chili cook-off, I'm gonna go ahead and add it. Okay. And that's about the only time we buy beers when we're making chili. <laughs> we don't like beer, really. Um, and then the chili powder. I have a fourth of a cup of chili powder, and this is another place you can add more heat if you want to. You can use a spicier chili powder or a regular chili powder. I have um, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Um, I have a tablespoon of minced garlic. And a tablespoon, in my spice mixture, I have a tablespoon of oregano, two teaspoons of cumin, um, a teaspoon of dried basil, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, um, a teaspoon of paprika, and a teaspoon of sugar. And then finally, what goes in here, oops, I forgot my celery. I'm going to also add um, some chopped celery, and I have three stalks of chopped celery. And then the final thing that goes in, I have two teaspoons of hot sauce that I'm gonna put in here. Okay. Now I wanna keep this um, until it comes to a simmer and then I want to simmer it for a couple of hours and I just need, I don't need to stir it constantly. I just need to come back in and stir it every so often um, just to make sure none of it is scorching at the bottom of my pan. And that is our chili recipe that we enjoy. Thanks for joining us for this session of Cooking with Some Friends. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And find us on Facebook at Cooking with Some Friends.